Hey everyone, for this video I am going to be showing you how to add Ken Burns effect, transitions, and titles to your iMovie project. As you see here, I have a started movie file with three videos, and I'm going to start by showing you how to use some transitions in your video. So to do that, you're going to go to the upper left, click transitions, and here you'll have a bunch of different options for transitions. Um, you can view these transitions just by going over the little images to see what they would look like in your video. Um, I most commonly use cross dissolve and cross blur because they are very simple. So for this video I'm going to be using that cross blur. Um, so if I want to put that into my video I'm just going to drag and drop it where I want it. So I want it in between the second and the third clip in this case. And then when I play over the video you'll see that cross blur happen between the two clips. Um, now if I want this transition to be longer or shorter, I can double click it and it will give me the option to change how long it is. For this video, one second's fine, but if you wanted to, you could change it. Um, another thing you can do in iMovie is add some cool titles. So by doing that, you just click the upper left titles tab. And again, you're going to have a lot of options and you can just kind of pan over them to see what they would look like uh, in your video. Now, when you're using titles in iMovie, there are two places, two types of places you can put them. You can either put them as their own screen, so it just be a black background, or you can put a title on top of a video or a photo. So I'm going to show you how to do both. First, I'm going to show you how to just use a black background. To do that, you're going to pick whichever one you want. I'm going to use Expand, and I'm going to put that in the beginning to make an intro title to my video. To do that, I'm going to drag and drop it. To the beginning of the video and then as you see it's there if I double click it you'll have the option of changing what it says so for my I'm gonna write SJU campus because that's what the video is of I can change the font how big it is um, where it's positioned so if it's on the left right middle I can bold it italic it change the color of it um, whatever I want again for this video this is fine so I'm just gonna keep it with this now if I wanted to make this clip longer or shorter I could go up here and click the little eye called clip information and I can change how long I want it. So let's say I want it for three seconds instead of four, I'm going to click three and there. And as you see, the little clip got smaller and then when I play over it, it's just a simple expand and then it goes right into the movie. Now let's say you wanted to have that title on top of this first clip instead of its own screen. So to do that, just like the other one, you're going to drag and drop whatever you want to wherever you want to place it. So I can place it in the middle of the video, at the end of the video, the beginning, wherever I want. I'm just going to place mine at the beginning. And again, I can edit it. So I'm going to write SJU Campus. Now, since the background's a little busy, maybe I'll make it bold so you can see it better. Um, and I can change how long it is by grabbing the end of the clip and just moving it forward or moving it out. So I'm going to make it a little shorter. And then when I play over it, it will appear on top of the video and then disappear and go into the rest of the video. Um, and lastly, I'm going to show you how to use the Ken Burns effect. Uh, I think this is most uh, important when you're putting in B-roll to your video, especially still images, because uh, that is what Ken Burns effect is for. So to do that, I am going to go to the My Media. I'm going to take this little picture here I have of St. Joe's and I am going to put it into my video. And again, I can either put this video as its own spot in the timeline, or I can put it on top of part of the current video. For this, I'm going to just pretend it's B-roll, and I'm going to put it on top of the video. So let's say I want it to go right here in the video, for whatever reason. When you play over it, you're just it's just going to switch to this, and that's kind of like its default setting, how it's going. Now let's say, now this video pans really fast over the image. Let's say I wanted to keep all the focus on Barb, which is a focal point. So I'm going to double click it, and then I'm going to go to this little cropping icon. And here you'll have three uh, different options. You can fit it, you can crop to fit, fill, or you can use the Ken Burns. So obviously for this, I'm going to click Ken Burns, and I am going to want to focus on Barb and less of the grass and sky. So to do this, I'm going to take this bottom one and I'm just going to move it around to my liking until it's like, you know, where I want it to be, where it's going to start and where it's going to end. So if, I think this is good. It's keeping the focus on here, but it still has movement. 
So then I'm going to just kind of click out of it. And um, again, I can change how long it is up here in the eye, just like with the titles. Again, four seconds is fine for our purposes. So I am then, if I play over it, as you see, it's not moving as fast and it's staying on what I want it to stay on. And yeah, so that is how you use the Ken Burns effect, transitions and titles in iMovie. Hopefully that was helpful and I hope you guys have a good day.